everybody. Welcome to MT Guitar. Thanks for joining us. We're going to learn today Leather and Lace by Stevie Nicks, uh, also featuring Don Henley. This was off her 1981 debut album, Belladonna. And uh, we just have a wonderful guitar part here. The chorus only has two chords, and uh, G and A, but the verse has some really nice stuff going on with um, actually a chord inversion. So pretty easy, I would say uh, a beginner could learn it for sure. Um, I will have a tab for this on the Patreon with the exact streaming pattern. We're going to go over that in this video. Remember to subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell. And I appreciate your support. So let's jump on in and learn this classic song. All right, so we really just have two sections to learn here. Um, and like I said, a beginner could learn this song. It's actually a great uh, song to get more comfortable with some open chords and some basic streaming patterns. Uh, so. The intro basically is just the verse instrumentally. So we'll start with that and you'll see that the verse is a little more uh, going on, has a little more going on than the, than the chorus, which basically just has two chords. So once we get through the intro and verse, we'll basically be very close to being done here. Um, so we have a capo on the first fret. You're welcome to play this without a capo after you learn it with me here. Um, the song, you know, does have a capo on that first fret as far as the recording. So we're going to do a D chord here. So the basic string pattern is going to be bass or fourth string open. So whatever the chord is, we're going to play the bass first. In this case, it's fourth string open. Then down, up, down, up. Okay. Now, just like any any song uh, in the pop, folk, rock genre, we can always mix with the string pattern a little bit, mix it up a little bit. But for now, let's just start with the basic one that is the most prominent uh, and most commonly used. So that would be bass, down, up, down, up. Let's do that a few times, slowly. Bass, down, up, down, up. Bass, down, up, down, up. Okay, that'll continue for every chord. Next chord, we're gonna lift our middle finger, keep everything where it is, and go to third fret, fifth string. It's called D over C. Now, if you want to barely touch the first string with your third finger, uh, it might sound a little tighter, but again, for a beginner, I wouldn't worry about it. Just leave that string open if you want. Again, bass or fifth string, down, up, down, up. Now we go to G over B, so we're going to lift our middle and first finger and just put our first finger on the second fret fifth string. Leave the third finger basically here the whole, the whole intro, okay? Then you're going to go fifth string, down, up, down, up. And that's like a G over B. It's like a G without the, uh, the bass there. Okay, so, so far we've got bass, down, up, down, up, bass, G over B. Now we put our first finger back on the, uh, we go back to D, right, D chord, but we play the fifth string open. Okay. So that would be G over B. Now, you could just go bass, down, up, down, up, or you could go bass, down, up, and then second, third, little lead in, depending on your level. So, either way, so that would be second fret, sixth string, third fret, down, up, down, up. Okay, that's a G chord. We don't really need the, the pinky on the, on the third fret, first string, but you could put it there. In the studio recording, the it's kind of hard to tell because it's a 12 string, but most of the time this third fret second string is kind of the top note of the chord. Okay, now we go to D over F sharp, which is second fret sixth string, second fret third string. Keep the third finger where it is. Bass down, up, down, up. Finally, we have an A sus four, so that's going to be fifth string open, fourth and third string second fret, second string third fret. And then you go bass down, up, down, up, down. And you can just let it ring out. So let's let's cover that whole intro, which is actually the verse, all right? As well. Ready? Three, four. Bass down, up, down, up, bass. Like that. Let's repeat that now and I'll kind of hum the melody so you can follow along with the verse. Uh, I memorized Don Henley's part, so <laughs> let's uh, let's sing that part, which is basically the same exact guitar part as when Stevie Nicks sings. You in my mind, with your sleeping. Here we 
go to G down, up down, up down, A down, down, up down, down. Now if you want to throw in a, a little fill here, it would be open the second fret fifth string, hammer on, and then, you know, and then bass. So you would be four and one, two, three. So let's try that. Ready? Again with the verse. Three, four. Second, third, D over F sharp, bass down, up, down, up, down, hammer, O, right? One more time. A over, D over A, G, D over F sharp. Here's the A, sus down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay? Uh, that keeps repeating, so you basically have the verse if you want to throw on that little pickup note. And like I said earlier, if you want to throw in more strums uh, or mix it up a little bit, that's totally fine. Sometimes they do that on the, on the song. For instance, sometimes it's a little more active, right? It's, up, it's kind of up to you and a personal choice as far as how often you want to strum. If you want to just keep it basic, keep the bass down, up, down, up. Now for the chorus, we just have G and A, and we have the same, the same strumming pattern. So it's G, bass down, up, down, up, or you could go bass down, down, up, down, up, either way. I'm gonna stick to the, the original one, bass down, up, down, up, and I'm doing the G with all four fingers here, third fret, first and second strings. Now A, same string pattern. All right, so let's kind of go nice and slow here, back and forth, and literally that's the entire chorus. So three, Four. Face to face, down, up, down, up, G. Stay with Okay, here, you could do a little fill if you want by going O, two, three, totally optional. Uh, but it's kind of nice to have that fill as an option. So um, that would be after the second time. So first time. Sorry, that was too early. Here's the fourth time. That's when you would do it. You can also throw in second to third fret, sixth string as a fill as well. Again, optional. Now, uh, after the eighth time, that's when it ends, right? So the eighth time would be, let's imagine this is the, um, the fifth time here. So we've done four times. Fifth. There's the sixth. Seventh, eighth time we extend the A and we go to an A sus four. And we go down, down, up, down, up, down, like before, or down, up, down, up, down, whatever. Um, you know, just kind of the point is down, down, up, down, up, down, sustain back to the verse, and then we've already covered that. So there you go with the chorus, just G to A. The only other thing with this song is it just kind of goes back and forth between the verse and chorus. They do this double chorus at the end, um, you know, after Don Henley's verse, there's a double chorus, meaning we just repeat the chorus. But what's really cool is that when Stevie Nicks, uh, it's called a tag when you repeat the last line, uh, I forget the exact lyric, but she basically goes, goes back to the verse for a sec the end of the verse, so it's like G, D over F sharp, A. So if you want to throw that in after the double chorus, that would be that, that part right there. Okay? You could just end on a D chord as well after the, after the chorus. So there you go, uh, very, very accessible for a beginner, and it's just a great, beautiful song as well for any level. So let me know if anything's unclear, and good luck with this song. All right, well done, everybody. Uh, nice uh, song to get under our belt. Definitely a good song at the beginner level as well. So go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. We'll see you next lesson. Bye.